Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today, I can't help but to smile, it is 55 degrees out. January the 2nd or 3rd, uh, it's beautiful. Of course, we're in the tiny house working and I don't know what I'm going to be able to get done today, but well, I keep looking up because my kids and I had this wild idea to store everything up in that one loft, which I think is Colton's loft, and the two end tables, I need to now take down, and the lights, and the door, and all that. It needs to go back into the regular storage building back here, and my countertops are up there. My cabinets and my lower cabinets and everything. So I've got to get them out so I can start figuring out what I'm going to do. Well, that being said, let's see what we can get done. Now, most usually I would pause this video, but I'm getting a lot of people saying, you know, we would actually like to see you do the work instead of tell us about it and then pausing it and then doing the work and then bringing us back. So if you guys want to see an old fat boy climb up a ladder and try to get heavy stuff down, then hang around. I kept these end tables because they're smaller than normal. And as you guys know, this is going to be a tiny house. So I figured I'd keep them just in case I needed them for in here, but they are heavy. These are, uh, just give you a little bit of history on them. These are something my parents bought back in the 80s when we bought our new house. And they got little, I've got them actually over in my workshop. They've got little uh, magazine racks going on the side. I used them at Christmas time because I was kind of confined to one room in my place. And I took the racks off. But so they're just. They're heavy, you know, they're old, they're heavy, they're not solid wood, I don't think. I think they are press wood. But it's back even when press wood was still good. <sighs> Alright. So unfortunately, that big base that you see up there. It's got to come down, and I don't know if I can do that on my own or not. So, I mean, you guys want to hang around and watch me try, or do you want me to pause it and bring you back when it's done? You guys probably want to see me drop it just like everybody else in the world, so you guys hang around and watch this. <laughs> As everybody else would say, hold my beer and watch this. Well, I don't have a beer, but hold my Pepsi and watch this. This thing's definitely got a lot of cobwebs on the bottom of it. I'm not worried about cobwebs, not worried about spiders. I'm more worried about this weight. And I also have to watch this into this 2x4 up here. Especially considering the way I'm going to bring it down. Hmm. Well, I'm not liking that. <coughs> Let's see what we can do here. And there's that two by four in my way. <sighs> okay, there's the first stage. 
Now, as long as I don't bust that light, now I need to get it to lay down on its back on that ladder. so sure how I want to do this. <clears throat> I'm kind of stuck. I can't reach the camera to put it on pause and I don't know what to do now. So you guys are getting ready to see a redneck fail. I'm pretty sure. First ledge. Now at least I can stop. I could hit pause, but you guys want to see me drop it. Oh, another ladder would really come in handy right now. <coughs> but I can't even get out the door to go get another ladder. So, five gallon bucket it is. Now, if I can keep this ladder from moving, and I can just kind of pinch this this way. Oop. There it goes. All right. So far, so good. Now, I still got to contend with that bulb, light bulb that is up there. So I'm going to try to move it all this way to get it away from that light bulb. Have I cleared that light bulb? No, not yet. I need to move you guys back too. So that's been curiously hanging up there. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about the light bulb. So now let me get my leg up here as high as I can. Oh, here, you guys want to see more than that and better than that. There you go. I'm going to try to get my leg up as high as I can onto this. And I can already see that's not going to work. I don't think. Nope. Because now I am oh Goodness gracious. Okay. That is heavy. Whew. But we did it. Uh, hey, thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching me not fail. Wow, how rare is that? <clears throat> so now we got some drawers and a sink and stuff. So... <laughs> I don't believe I'm going to fail on this. So I am going to pause this video, get this stuff down out of here. It's real light. No failing there. And actually, I think I'll just leave the sink up there. But i got to get the other two small pieces down. So I'll bring you back here in just a minute. Okay, I got to thinking about it and I thought, well, I don't need that sink and stuff down. So I pushed it towards the back. And these are kind of small. They ain't going to be that bad, but... You know, if I happen to fall or drop these and tear them up, that could go viral. So maybe I'll just let you guys stay around and we'll see what happens. I'm sure nothing will happen, but I'm very careful at what I do. I'm sure there's a bunch of safety stanleys out there right now having a fit. But... We live in America, and it's my body, my choice. So if I hurt myself, it's my choice. So, all right. Uh, there's one. Of course, it was a lighter, smaller one. Let's try this one. 
And I know people are going to be saying, well, you're scratching up the sides and everything. These are all getting painted. And they're probably going to get painted white. Well, I know they're going to get painted white. With upgraded door handles and stuff. Get rid of the 70s look. No, I'm not trying to figure it out. I'm just taking a break. Uh, always create yourself ledges. <laughs> Do everything in stages. It really helps. All right, so let's get this down. Hopefully these drawers don't pop out and smack me. And there we go. <coughs> as safe as I could possibly do it. <coughs> Goodness gracious. It's dusty up there. All right, so let me get these set up the way I'm kind of thinking. Oh, I know, you guys are thinking, no, you're going to do the countertop, you're going to do the countertop. And I am, and I will bring you back for that. But first, let me get these bases set up so i got a place to set the countertop. Okay, and just like that, we're back. So now I'm going to get that countertop down. And you can see I have a, a ledge here. It gives me a place to just kind of bring it from there to here, which is probably not going to work. Um, and, uh, we'll make it work. Bring it down to that first two by four ledge. And then I can prop everything up like this and grab it the correct way. And now I just have to go back behind you guys and set it down. Oh, I guess it's heavier than the cabinet. All right. Whew. Goodness gracious. So, oh, I'm out of breath. It really sucks to be fat. Okay, so there's what I'm thinking now. My sink will go into here, right here. And that means I, now I know where I want my window at, if this is the way that I so choose to do it. Uh, and I could always make the window go down that way just a little bit more. If I change these two end pieces, this one and this one out with each other. But I think if I look, I don't see a tape measure out here. Let me go get a tape measure. I'll bring you guys right back. And yeah, I got to reach over top of you here and pause it. Okay, so anyways, what I was saying is I went and got a tape measure and I wanted to see about, right now, if I take a two by four, which is three and a half inch, plus two pieces of OSB, which is one inch, so that's four and a half inch. If I leave this countertop as long as it is now, I can still, yeah, you guys can see over here. I can still bring my wall to right here. So I wouldn't have to cut the countertop. But I don't want a little space in there for no reason. But what I could do is pull this out to the edge. And see, that's actually going to run me the backwards way that I want to go. And then I could put a filler strip in here. Because it's going to get painted all white anyway. So, and of course, these drawers will no longer be drawers because there will be a sink in there. 
and I'll just take the drawers and attach them to the front, but we'll still have storage down below. We'll listen to that. Ooh, that's a product from the 60s or 70s. So, that being said, I think I want to take this small one because I'm right-handed. And when I'm putting, when I'm doing dishes, I know you guys can't see me. Let's get you on a better angle here. How about that? So when I'm doing dishes here and I'm drying them, okay, I lie. I don't dry my dishes. I just put them in a drainer and let them dry. But the drainer will probably be here. And instead of grabbing the silverware and coming clear over to here, no, I would want to do that. I would want to put my drainer here and be able to, in one step, put my silverware away. I think. So, anyways, I can fudge all this, but now I know I don't have to cut this countertop and still be fine with that. I, it's easier to build a thing there. But now my window being center, that's what I went out to get the tape measure for. Thank you for reminding me. Let's get you up here where you guys can see. Um, so if I go center, so let me get something to mark center with. So there's basically center. So center of the sink, which will also be center of my window, is going to bring me roughly to 40 inch there and 39 inch there. So I'm not going to fudge with that. Although I think if I switch these two and slide this base down and put the filler piece over here, I think I can level that up. So, okay, that being said, that's what I've got going on. There's going to be a, a, a wall here that'll come out. Oh, I don't know. I'll probably make it come out. Well, because that's going to be the edge of the wall with that cabinet. I'll probably make a 30 inch wall. So it'll come out to about right here. Hey, you guys can't even see that, can you? 30 inch wall will come out to approximately right here. So there'll be a wall from here all the way up to the top. That'll look good. Uh, it'll kind of keep the living room area free away from the kitchen area, if any of that makes any sense to anybody. Um, I can see there's a little warp on that countertop, but I think as long as I glue it and I put some weight down on this or I clamp it from down here to here, I can get that countertop really straightened out really good. And I think it's gonna look really awesome. Uh, not much too big on the color of the countertops. I don't know, I know you guys can't really see it, but it's almost kind of like a pinkish color, like a rose mauve color. I don't know if that'll stay that way, but everything can be painted. Uh, so anyways, that's it. That's, we got it down. Thank you guys for joining me. We know now that when we come in the front door that there's gonna be a small wall here. Past that will be the sink. Um, refrigerator will probably go right in here. And the stove will go over here. See, you guys can't see me again. Jeez. I need, a, I need to fire the cameraman. That's just me. So anyways, the, the refrigerator will go over here and it'll roughly stick to about right here. And then the bathroom door will be on this wall. So the, the stove will go here and the bathroom door will be here. Yeah, you will have to go through the kitchen to get to the bathroom. I didn't really want that, but it makes more sense to me than to cram the stove over here too close to the refrigerator, and it just wouldn't work that way. So I'm happy with this. So that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's a general vlog video. Thank you, if you've, if you've stuck around this long, thank you, thank you, thank you for, for watching my video. And go ahead and smash that thumbs up, give us a like, comment down below, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and go up and smash that bell notification and click all so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. 
And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. It's just General Vlog Video on Facebook. And share us on your social media platforms and watch the ads. All that really helps YouTube channels grow. Not just me, but everybody. So all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And I will see you guys on the next video. And I might have finally got some ideas on what to do in here and we'll progress forward on that. But I'm still my own cameraman. So you know what that means. We got to get up close and personal and I got to poke you in the ear to turn this thing off. So I hope you guys have a super great day and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.